morning. This is Brady Theodore, the Gotti Gotti of marketing. <laughs> and today I have Nicola Rodriguez from NicolaRodriguez.com joining me. And uh, we want to talk a little bit about value and how it's perceived by people. And uh, before I get started, if you are watching this on a replay, uh, it's probably on my YouTube channel or, or on Nicola's YouTube channel. So go below, press that uh, subscribe button and that little bell to be notified about the next time that either one of us are on, giving you more value on a daily basis. So anyway, uh, I think last week Nicola was with me, but I'll introduce her again. Nicola Rodriguez from Down Under in Australia from the future because it's tomorrow. But it, when we do this, it certainly it's is. going to be on Thursday. You see this. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's too far in the future. <laughs> on Monday, but uh, with Nicola, it's Tuesday, so it gets all confusing. So it's hard to describe value when everybody's on different time zones in the world. But anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about value today and how it's perceived by people and what you need to do to add value in people's lives when you're entering the marketing world, even though I hate to say marketing, let's say when you enter the entrepreneurial world online, what, what do you do, Nicola, to get value out to people? But you know what? It's really interesting that you're talking about value because today I'm actually at an event that's creating value. And like you're saying, we need to give value to our customers, right? So sometimes it's not about making a sale, it's about offering something of value to be able to build a relationship with these people and to build further business down the track. So it's actually really coincidental that I'm here today because that's exactly <laughs> what's going on here. So we have our national show happening this week and a lot of the times people can't afford to go to that. So some of the councils put on a free event. Now where this comes in handy for businesses is they're coming down here and they're providing value to people. So we've got a graphics design company down here which I've just checked out. And you know what they're doing? They're giving away free little bags and they're letting the kids do handprint designs. So they're doing handprint designs on some little bags that they then can carry that bag around the show and collect all the other little things that they're picking up while they're here. Now that's smart marketing because that's providing value to all the people that are here to have a little bag to collect the little things they're picking up. But guess what's on those bags also? The name of the their details, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. So, so these people are providing value. They're not selling anything. They're not making any money today. But you know what the thing is? They're creating a relationship with the people who are going down there with their kids. They're chatting with them. They're having, you know, a general chit chat. They're not talking about the business. They're just talking about how's your day going and, you know, having that chat because then they go, oh, you do graphic designing. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, well, you know, I need this for my business or I need this. So they're being able to get business out of this, even though they're not making a sale right now, because like you said, it's all about value, right? Yep. Yep. So, and I know you do that as well. You're big yep. on the value too. Well, I do, but in a different way. And when I think about value, that, I mean, that's great marketing on their behalf. <clears throat> when I'm thinking about value, I, I sit and I, I think, and I look around and I read my books and I'm thinking, what can I do that's going to add value to somebody's life? What can, what do I have to say that people are going to say, oh well, yeah, I need that. I want to listen to that guy. And I know that, I know why, especially when I first started, it was like, what do I have to offer? And yes. you, everybody thinks they don't have anything to offer. When in fact, just being you and just getting on, on a camera in particular, and that's one vehicle to add offer value in. Just go and say hi and you know, show people what you do during the day. And to a lot of people, that's valuable. I mean, I think it's yep. neat that I get to watch you there. Even though the sky is blue, it doesn't <laughs> look like it doesn't look like where I live. So it's interesting to see a different part of the world. So to me, hundred well, percent. To me, that's valuable. And it's just, it's hard for people to understand what what value is because everybody looks at. I, mean, I think it's I totally marketing. agree. Yep. I mean, marketing on that company's behalf to do what they're doing. But what does the little guy that's just entering entrepreneurship do 
that thinks that they don't have anything to offer, what, what do you do to offer value? To them? So this is where we think about the things that we already know, and because they're built in our subconscious and they might be everyday things that we do, we don't see them as a skill. We don't see them as value for other people because for us they're easy. But then you have the other people who have no idea of that skill. So you just getting on a video, sharing a little bit of information about yourself, sharing a little bit of things about what your hobbies are and things like that can provide value for others. So you need to just find one little thing that you like, one little thing that you either find easy and depending on what your business is, depending on what it is that you're selling. So if you're in basically the makeup industry and you're just getting involved in it, okay, get on and do some little videos about putting makeup on. You know, can you use certain makeup in different areas? You know, can I use my eyeliner as a lip liner or little things like that? You know, they're little tiny, tiny tips. Exactly, right? So that's what I mean. These are, these are little tips that anybody could do. And it, like you said, it depends on what niche you're in. If you're into building funnels or you're just learning about things like that, build one. Share it with other people how you built it. You know, practice. When you get it right and you're comfortable that you got it good, make a little video about it. You know, it can be a five minute, 10 minute video, but you know what? Somebody watching that didn't know how to do that. And then they're gonna reach out to you to say, hey, I watched your video and thanks so much. You gave me the confidence to give it a go. And then they'll start following you. So that's what you want. It's just the little things, isn't it? It's not the big, you don't need to walk in with a big bucket load of value. You just need the little tiny tweaks. Just keep uh, it happen on a... I always thought I had to have some big difference. Yeah. You know, humongous, enormous difference. Gigantic before people and I have yep. found out more recently in the last six months, eight months, that it really isn't that way. And it doesn't, and we say video, even though video is right now the number one way to know if you want people to get to know you, because they get to see you firsthand and hear your voice and see what you look like or what you're doing and where you're at. There are yep. other forms of offering value. I mean, you can do it in print. You can do it on a uh, podcast and just talk. I mean, especially if you think you can't be in front of the camera. If you know that you can speak good, carry your phone, turn on your recorder, and just talk about what you're doing. And people exactly. And and beyond that, once you get into the groove, of course you can figure out how to edit. You want to ask somebody for value? How do I edit this so it sounds nice, or how it yeah. looks, how it will look nice? And your uh, blog post, you can write about anything. And personally, I like to write. I've got a number of posts that I, I just, I find things I like and I just rewrite it. Yeah. Sometimes it's not about me and sometimes it is. But I just rewrite it in my own words and people can read it. And if they like it, great. Hopefully that that's giving value. And that's the thing. You can find things that, you know, resonate with you and you may not have written it. And it's not about copywriting that and making it a hundred bit. Like, do not make it identical and then claim it's yours. You want to change it up a little bit. You want to take the things that were valuable to you out of that. And then you want to write it as you, right? You don't want it to sound like somebody else. You want it to sound like Brady wrote it. Um, because there's no point, I suppose, we don't fake it till we make it, guys. We don't fake it till we make it. We have faith in it till we make it, all right? Because when you're faking it to make it, you're only lying to yourself. Like, fair enough, you might be lying to others, but truly at the end of the day, when you're faking it to make it, you're lying to yourself. So if you get some copy from somebody, just add a little bit of your own flavor to it. Add it with the way that you speak, the words that you commonly use. So that way it sounds like it's authentic and it's coming from you. I mean, you can always give reference to where you first read it. You can give reference to exactly, you know, like where you got that idea from. Um, but that's the whole point, isn't it? Like like you're saying, you can do it in text, you can do it in podcasts. You can, there's even apps now where you can learn how to podcast and it teaches you step by step how to set up your own you podcast. Too. Yes, yes. I, I've actually downloaded one, but I haven't given it a go yet. So I'm thinking about giving it a go. But there is um, podcast learning apps. So, so many different ways to give value. The ebook was always a good one as well. You know, create a little ebook. It doesn't have to be huge, guys. It can be a couple of pages here or there, maybe two. Maybe giving up some tips. You know, how I 
Well, let's see. What, what sort of tips have we got good going? You know, how, how I get most exposure on Facebook or how I, you know, the best times of day to post on Instagram. Or, do you know what I mean? They're just little tweaks. Same as like, Brady, I'm sure you've got great tips on YouTube, right? And tagging and things like that. So everybody has a little thing that they can write my tips for you. And like you said, you originally thought it had to be huge, huh? Well, I'll tell you, a few weeks ago, I did a short, I think it was six minutes on being bullied on Facebook and just okay. how to do posts that I yep. didn't realize I could do when I saw it. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Cool. I've got more views on that video than any other video I have. It's only six yep. minutes. It's kind of uh, the same thing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 And that's the thing, so you've, you've provided value to people that didn't even know they could do that and were wanting to do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't even realize it. So everybody perceives value as different, you know, so much different. Yes. It does not have to be big. And like you said, you don't have to think it. And I, when I first started, yes, I did because I was thinking, I need something big. So yeah. I, I'd either write about it, all multi-identical, I think it's going to be big. Nobody agreed with me. Yeah. Now, if I find an idea and I make it my own and just word it in my words, I get more likes and comments and follows off of it than anything else. A hundred percent. It doesn't have to be super big, it doesn't have to be super powerful, it just has to be you. Yeah. Be authentic, hey. Yeah. And that's the best value you can provide for everybody is to be authentic. So even if you stuff it up the first couple of times, you know what, we're all human and that's how we grow, we, that's how we learn. And don't ever delete those videos or delete those podcasts or delete those e or whatever you've done to create value when you first started, never ever throw them out or delete them. And that is such a good point because I'm gonna tell you, I was sitting the other night and I was going back through my Zoom recordings, which I didn't even realize that my computer saved all of these. I must have had about of them. So I went through and started watching and I'm looking at things, looking at it thinking, well, I didn't use that one because I thought it was stupid. But now, <laughs> a year later, I'm looking at it and I'm going, you know what? I didn't post it then, but it's got value. So I'm yeah. just, I'm retagging them and I'm putting them online and it's just going to drive traffic. Like, yep. And it, again, it doesn't have to be fake. It doesn't have to be huge. It just has to be you. And actually, yeah. the ones that I have that I thought was stupid are more me than the ones that I really try to do. <laughs> I think that's the thing, isn't it? You know, we all do it. We'll all make a video or a podcast or an e-book or we'll do something. It's just like how we were in high school. We'd write an assessment or we'd write our assignment. We'd be like, that's not good enough. We'd rip that page up, throw it out, we'll start again, we'll start again. So it's perfect. Whereas I think that's the biggest thing that we need to learn is that no one is perfect at all you're perfect the way you are so when you make mistakes and when you fail and when you learn it's how you react to those whether you throw your hands in the air and you give up completely or you say you know what that's fine just learn a better way not to do it and you just step up and try again and then you can go back and watch those videos go back like you're saying you know watch those listen to the podcast go back and read the first ebook that you've written you know have a look at those and see how far you've grown because yep. That's the thing that we don't realize. Like we sit there in the moment all the time or we think about now, or we think about, you know, a week ago or whatever. We don't actually sit there and look back and look at those old videos, look at those old things that we did and realize exactly how far we've come. Exactly, yep. Yeah, I've, I've found that out. And, uh, and you are right. Do not throw any of that away. Don't delete anything right, anything you're talking about, any video. Uh, and I've heard the same thing because this is the guy that I follow. I can't, can't read with my green screen, but the Gary, <laughs> the Gary Vaynerchuk uh, crushing it book. And from his first book to his third book, and what he speaks about is don't, don't ever discard any of that. And he now puts up videos that he was doing 10 years ago that are more relevant now than they were when he made them. And to him, yeah. it's fascinating. And to everybody, of course, who watches him, Brilliant. finds it fascinating also that this guy could be talking like that then and it's relevant now and even though it was new for him then and he thought it was terrible 
it's the biggest thing going on now. So exactly. Save it. Always save it. If yes. you gotta wait a while, then go back and look at it. But it will if it's not super relevant or over the top, it is always useful. Even if hundred percent if it gives you an idea to do it better this time. At least yep. you have it. At least you have it in front of you that you can look at and go back to. So yeah, totally agree. Great point. I didn't even think about that. Really. And, and and that's value even for yourself because you know, like we're, we're always trying to provide up value for everybody else, but you need to understand that your value is growing. So you might be only just starting out now, and even if you are just starting out now, you still have some value, guys. You do. Yep. Whether you believe it or not, you honestly do have some value there. And I mean these are little tiny things. I've been, um, you know, I've been doing interviews with people that I work with, colleagues, people that inspire me and I look up to. And it's been quite funny because each time I've got off a call, we've taught each other something that we didn't know before. And to me, my perception was, hold on a minute, these people are, you know, they're, they're earning more than me. They're, they've, they've been around longer than me. Surely they know these things, but they didn't. And they were just tiny, tiny little things. But now they've tweaked their business and they've added to their business and to their videos and things. And, you know, it's surprising. So, so guys, don't hide what you've got. Even though you might not think it's worth it or think it's worth value, it is worth value to others, 100%. So just talking to you in this short period of time, I already learned a couple of things. So, yeah, this was even valuable. Trying to give value to others, I already give value to myself. <laughs> and that's that, what we're here for. Every time I do one, I get more comfortable. Yeah. Well, a year from now, when I go back and look at this one, and when I close this up, I get ready to edit it, I'm going to say, well, that was good, that was good. But a year from now, I'm going to look at it and say, that was great. Even though maybe I'm doing it better a year from now, than this was Yes. Yep, 100%. And it's kind of scary. But, but yeah, uh, anything that you can say or within your own words, your own vision, within your own mind, it's going to be valuable to somebody. And that one somebody, yep. be that one person that needed it and that you need. You, know, yeah. you, can't, you can't judge people beforehand. And if you were doing that, you're already in the wrong business. A hundred percent. I mean, we've got people who start out just with kitchen hacks, right? We've got like massive YouTube followings and Facebook followings of people who are just doing kitchen hacks, you know, how to peel an onion without crying. And, and I'll give you a really big tip on that. I don't know if you've ever seen my video about that. But I had this, um, I had this plan one day. I was getting dinner ready and I thought, you know what? I'm going to get dinner ready first because while dinner's cooking, I'll do my live video, you know, multitasking, kids are sorted, let's get this done. I'm going to give you a secret. Never, ever, ever, ever cut onion before you do a live video. I remember that video. Because <laughs> I can tell you right now, it doesn't go the way you planned. Um, <laughs> and you get on and everybody thinks the world's ending. So there's one big tip before you go live, never cut an onion. But don't be afraid to go live when you're out places, guys. Because I can tell you right now, okay? I... Go back even a year ago, I wouldn't have gone live, especially like a, like this. I've got two people call while I'm out somewhere because I would have sat there and said, oh no, but you know, this is happening. And, but now when I sit here and go, do you know what? This is showing my lifestyle. This is showing that, you know, me working online is still able for me to be able to run my business while I'm out here at an event doing stuff with my kids. And do you know what else, guys? Because I'm walking around with my little people on my phone and I'm having a conversation with someone, I have people all surrounding me, following me, wanting <laughs> <And they let laughs> to know what I'm doing. Big personality, and they find out when they can tell the classes the opportunities to help them about your business. Exactly, guys. So even this is providing value to people who are around me who don't even know me yet. Because and you know what? And most people probably don't even know that you can do that on a phone. A hundred percent. Yep. Yep. So, and that's the thing. So that's where the difference is where we say we grow and the value grows and the different type of value we provide grows when we grow. So don't be scared. Decide, have a think about today. Have Just, you know, have that break to sit back, get rid of what's going on at the moment. Sit somewhere nice and quiet 
maybe meditate on it a little bit. Just have a just have a chill, you know. If you get a cup of coffee, sit down and say, what is it? What what is it that I'm good at, or what is it that I can do, uh, or what that, do I enjoy doing? I think that goes into a different topic about why you know why do you do this? I mean, there's a lot of things that all the new people coming into and even the old people that's been spinning their wheels. Uh, there's certain things you have to do, and number one is know why you're doing it. But within the why is okay, so I know why I want to do it. I know why I am doing it. But what value do I have? And you're right. Yeah. Right. Anything is valuable to almost anything. You don't know who it's yeah. going to be, so you might try different things, uh, different aspects of your life. You know, I personally, I'm comfortable sitting right here in my lives. <laughs> now I do Facebook lives out in my my yard and out in public. So I'm that also. But when I'm trying to do a power call, I do right here. Yeah. I love watching other people like you. I watch a guy that goes to New York City. Do I care for him? Yeah, not so much. But I love seeing Central Park. I don't live yeah. in like that. And I think it's fascinating to see that he can walk around doing this whole Central Park and all the craziness. And to yeah, hundred percent. Yep, and that's the thing. We we still got to enjoy our everyday life. I mean, like while we're doing this in the first place, is to enjoy life, to find joy. So finding those little bits of value to share to other people, I can tell you right now, the more value you share, the more abundance will return to you without you even knowing, because yep. it's it's about you know helping others more than anything else, and that in return it will come back. Because Big time, guys. Big time. And hey, you know what? This is a. I think we've pretty much covered what value is and how to do it so fast. But there's not a lot to dwell on with value. What you've already said. Right? Yeah. You've got print. You've got uh, verbal. Uh, you've got video. Uh, basically, it's just yourself and offering uh, casually in your life and other things. Yeah, you don't, you don't 100%. You don't talk about a business. You don't have to sell anything. Just yep. people get to know you. And if they like you, well, that's the first step. Then they get to trust you. That's the next step. Then they're asking what you're into. That's the next step. So yeah. You've got a lifelong customer. And that's how we work it, isn't it? Always. It's about relationship building, guys, and providing value. It's not about making sales and making a quick buck. It's about having them there for life. Yes, it is, and I wish everybody would understand that. I wish that when I came into this that I understood it when I first started. I wouldn't have wasted yeah. three to six months of my life spinning my wheels like a little rat. Um, because it is that easy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, it's just that easy. Just be yourself. Be your thing. Yeah. Some people are going to like you. Some people are going to hate you. But that's what life is. We can't make everybody happy, right? Nope. <laughs> nope. But I think we pretty much covered it. And uh, what I, I will tell everybody, what I tell everybody on every video, if you want to get into video or offering value, whatever the way it is, find somebody that you like, that you can trust, and reach out to them, let them show you how to do it, give you some pointers, some value. And I'm not saying come to me. Want to, I am here. Uh, if you want to go to Nicola, she's there. But reach out to somebody. You can change your life just by being you. And it's phenomenal. I, it really is phenomenal how much you can change your life by just being you. 100%. I totally agree. So, anyway, Nicola, I'm going to let you get back to your event. It looks like you're having fun. I know you got your kids running around there somewhere. I'm going to try and go and get on a ride. I think I'm short enough to be a kid. I'll just have to... <laughs> have <laughs> well, we... I'll try. <laughs> I'm that, I'm that sure. Anyway, oh. hey, I'm going to let everybody get back to your work. You, you get back to what you're going to do. Uh, I appreciate everybody coming on. Our anyway, Nicola, awesome. have fun. Thank you so much. No, thank you. It was great. See you we'll talk soon. soon too, hey. Have See fun. you later, guys. Have fun in Thanks the for watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to tell you Monday is a beautiful day. Just look at it. <laughs> it's about 75 degrees there.
Um, about 20, 21. Um, so it's pretty good for winter. Pretty good. I mean, I'm in a singlet for winter, so it's pretty good. <laughs> whole different side of the world because I'm in the middle of summer in a heat wave myself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's crazy, cool. isn't it? Hey, Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. See you later. Oh, Bye. Yeah. Josh, are, are you ready? If you're watching or listening to me on video or on my podcast, if you gained any knowledge, any skills, motivation, if that little switch in your mind flicked and you said, hey, I can do that too, then follow me, Brady Theodore, the Gotti. I would like to tell you that, hey, I'm just a guy 60 plus years old. Four years ago, I decided to learn some new skills and place myself in a position that I could have some financial freedom in my later years. Come to find out that with knowledge, I have done just that. I've learned that no matter what age you're at, if you put your mind to it, if you take the proper action and you follow the leaders, that anything is possible. Now, if you would like to see more of me, please go below, touch that link, follow me at bradytheodore.com. Thank you, God bless, and I'll see you on the inside.
Hey, good morning.